What's Ooh, going on, everybody? Welcome be. back. Michael's going to tell you about his room. Ooh, Urza Saga. That's exciting. What about Snap. Big Papa Gris? Big Papa Gris. Yeah, there's four cards that I'm, I'm, I'm oh, liking. Oh, and oh, oof, my heart. Oh, yeah. Let me hold on. Let me think of what your heart is is getting. Okay. Is enjoying here. I'll give you a hint. You mentioned a gristle brand. Mm hmm So that's not that, obviously. We got a good amount of time, so I'll let you struggle with it a little longer. It's not a land. It's a deep cut. You probably wouldn't remember. Is it, it's not Woodfall Primus. No. What is it? It's, R it's Raffaellus. Oh. Well, I mean, that guy's just good, though. I thought it was going to be something weird. So Raffaellus is actually the second commander I ever made? Yeah. He was legal back then. Okay, I'm real old. Anyway, but literally, like, I built the deck, and, like, a week later, he got banned. <laughs> Get wrecked. It was before it was called Commander. Josh, no trophies. We've only done six drafts. Uh, other Josh, how do I feel about AFR? It's fine. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, for some reason, I'm not, like, super excited about it because there's far too many cards that are dice-based. I've also heard it's kind of, like, it feels very corsetti, like not a super fun draft, but yeah. See there, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I think I kind of want green sun. Yeah, it gets her fellows, and it also gets stick with the train. It also gets gristy. Um, I'm gonna get Ulamog. Did they put tooth and nail back? I don't know. Is Ulamog still cool? Yeah. I mean, if you get to resolve it, it usually wins. So sometimes, yeah, exile two perms. Oh my god, my wife just gave birth to my first son last Sunday, and for the last six nights while I've been trying to let her get some sleep before the little man is to feed, I've been looking for something solid. Dude, the chump block, congrats, buddy. Oh man, that's amazing, dude. What's your son's name? If it's not Frank or Mike, we're going to be really, really <laughs> sad. I'd actually be totally fine with that. <laughs> dude, that's amazing. Congratulations. You made a whole human. That's wild. That's so weird to me, yeah. I guess we'll take Devoted Druid. Yeah, no reason to take a fetch yet. Ooh. Ooh, the the natural order or just... I think it's just Vorinclex, right? Buddy, that's no natural order. That guy just smashed his face. Also, if you happen to get like a Rasker or something, it's like, oops, ultimate. His name is Riggs? That feels like a... That almost what's the I'm thinking of what's this what's the Final Fantasy character that kind of sounds like Riggs? Which game? Is it just Biggs? No, that's Star. Wars. Are you talking about Final Fantasy Seven? The uh, I don't know. If a Final the, Fantasy the shooty character. arms guy. I can't remember his name either. I'm gonna take Court. Uh, oh, maybe it's a Lumog though. What about Plow Under though? You ever cast one of those bad boys? This lets you Ace put. Per, is it? Ooh. It's a creature. Yeah, we're taking yeah. this. Had to be the monarch, but. Hmm. Oh, cradle. Ooh, baby. That's like Rafael's part two. Biggs is his name. Oh, my God. Yes, I nailed it. Did I say Biggs? No, I said... Just take Elf. Yeah. Sure what did I say? Eh, not sure. Yes, Biggs and Wedge. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. That's what it reminds me of. Hey, look. Your favorite came back. Kitchen Finks. I'd take Sanctum just in case. Sanctum? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I mean, I feel like more like, it's, like the blue-green deck is better than the whatever deck. I'm going to take Kitchen Finks. Just because I have Green Sun Zenith already and yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good sideboard trail, tech. So. Yeah, well, I like Nature's Claim. Yeah, creatures are pretty good with, with Cradle. I agree. I know. Remember that card is a million dollars. Yeah, it's wild. It, it is wild. It keeps going up. No one can stop. Somebody can. Not even God. East Coast time. I let my wife some learn to do some. Oh, what time is it now? It's one. It's about one a.m. now. No, it's about midnight. Man, oh, the Wall of Roots came back. Jimmy the Mole texts me. Or no, we were at, we were chatting at work, and he uh, he threw regrowth. Got to be regrowth. Yeah. Regrowth gets back. Uh, lots of we're not any other colors yet. We'll just stick on the train. You know, the mono train, the green train. Yeah, but what if I get? Anyway, he was like, "Hey, oh. if you guys are streaming, you should you should let me know." And I was like, ah, "I can't guarantee it." And then I text him, "I'm like." We're streaming, and he doesn't even show up or respond, so. That's, like, the rudest thing someone can do, I You think. could be like, well, he has a newborn baby, so he probably doesn't have time or whatever, but that's not a good excuse. That's your excuse? 
Come on, she's like probably two weeks old. Just she can get a job. You just know? let her fend for herself, man. I'll yeah. take Nick Dose. What the hell? This pro- it's definitely Nick Dose. Someone's got a gonna get a late metal worker there. It's like a second to last pick metal worker. If it's that late though, no one's doing that, you know. Also, guys, I ordered a replica Han Solo blaster. Here's a weapon. And I got it today. He's gonna shoot you with it. And it's actually <laughs> insanely sweet. It's the, super heavy. <laughs> the weight is really good. It's the weight of an actual gun. It's, it's very heavy. Wild. But yeah. Do you know the weight? Uh, no, but we can weigh it. There's a scale in the I kitchen. I mean, you bought it. This thing on. Could, I, there's got to be like something on the product information. Oh, it, it does a little cocky. Yeah, just because Han shoots first, man. So yeah, that's super sweet. I'm like, yeah, it depends on the cut. Actually, loving it. Oh, Mox Diamond. I was gonna say Coalition Relic, but I think it's probably Mox Diamond here. It's always Diamond. It's always Diamond. <laughs> for, especially for your daddy, Michael. Wood. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna try this. I mean. It's this is the, like the, this is the deck for it, right? Plus, we have like an, like if you have an elf or a mox, you can play on turn two, which is pretty bananas. People get babies all the time. Priorities, man. Right? I know. Like the chump block is here. Chump block had a baby. He's here. So, okay. Now we're, like yesterday. Now we're living it. Oh, channel. <laughs> what is this third pick channel? Wow, that's pretty good. Hey, man. You yeah. know something funny? The other day, no. I, I almost you didn't let me answer. Okay. I said no. I'm going to tell you anyway. Okay, that's... Because you're selfish and the stream might like it. Okay, that's rude. So I, I was going to buy an old frame of Eternal Witness because they're not super expensive and they look sweet. No, they're like four bucks. And, and then I was my going... modern ones are old frame. And then I was going through my Kenrith deck and I was like, <laughs> oh wait, I already own this card. Good thing I looked first. Oh, sup, Alan? Yes, no one does want Greedo's blaster. <laughs> also, it's I bought true. it from Super Fritz. I bet if Greedo shot first... Uh, okay, let's be honest, he did shoot first, so... I was going to say, I bet if Greedo shot first, people want, but he did shoot first, and no one wants it still, so. Wait, what? Greedo. And then the original kid didn't Han shoot first? No, they, yes. Yes. They, they, then, re- they yes. retconned to make Greedo. A lot of people oh, were mad about that's that, because right. George was like, well, I think I messed up, I'm going to trade something, because I'm a weird guy. Well, they, they, he changed it because it looked bad for Han to shoot him unarmed. So if Greedo shoots first, then Han is, like, just retaliating. He's just being, def- he's just defending himself. Yeah, but, like, I feel like Han's kind of a Vegeta. Yeah, of course like he he's is. allowed to shoot. That's first. why he's right. that guy. That's why it shouldn't have been done. I'll just take Polygrinos here, or whatever. In my heart, he shot first. Oh, I like a solemn. That's fine. Do I want Fauna Shaman? Card's never good, man. You have to wait a whole turn. They're I'm gonna... really never gonna play it. At least solemn, I can. Dude, I, I don't... can channel it out. You know, that card's not good enough for Commander, bro. <laughs> it doesn't matter who shot first. Han shot accurately. That's what matters. What card's not good enough for Commander? Fauna Shaman. Like, I have to untap with it. I can only use it once. I mean, if you got a lot of ways to give things haste, maybe, or, like, your commander gives haste. Like, I consider playing a Maelstrom Wanderer because he gives all your guys haste, which is freaking bananas, by the way. He's like, get two free things and then give them all haste. Okay. Wild. It does cost eight mana, though. 80 mana? Eight. Wow. I like that you corrected me as if I thought Maelstrom Wanderer cost 80 mana. Well, you know, you don't play Commander. He's not in your cube. You know, he might he is in my cube. He's in... Really? Yeah, well, he's in the second cube I have. Oh, the Live the Dream? Yeah, I like Worm Coil Engine. I'm going to put Worm Coil Engine in here. I'm going to put him in my deck. I hope we get an Ember Coil in the last pack. I actually don't own a Worm Coil Engine. That's because you're stupid. Well, I could have swore I did, but I was like, well, some bitch I don't. It's my birthday. That's an excuse to buy the cool no, one. No, it's though. not. Han is a Vegeta. So, yeah, it's true, dude. Kakorot. Ebon Death is like a 5-3 for 4 with flying and flash. And if a creature went to the graveyard that turn, any turn, you can cast him from your graveyard. Of note, though, he does come in and play tapped. Is that right? Yes. Michael's like, here, I'll just look at Well, that definitely makes him worse have right because he can't, like, flash block, you know? Does he got a cooler art, too? Yeah, it's got the borderless. Let me see that. I don't buy cards if they don't come in a borderless frame. <laughs> These days, you'd probably be pretty good. <laughs> that looks that looks sick, actually. Michael's holding his belly. Can you guys see it? At least he does a rest sometimes. He when does. he when he looks at cards, he has to hold his belly. <clears throat> is Chewy Napa? <laughs> Chewy is Bulma. What's the cheapest black border soul ring in an old frame you can get? The cheapest black border soul ring, mm-hmm. at, at like an old border, or like an old yeah. Uh, probably literally collector's edition. To be fair, to be honest, rather. To be fair and honest. <laughs> like, to be fair, it doesn't make any sense there. Some people say to be fair. 
in completely in situations that completely don't make any sense. Man, I used to, I used to own like a. I can't remember what soul ring was, but it was black bordered, and I got rid of it. That was back in the day. It's probably dark ritual. Wait, what does that mean? Josh is, is like making drunk deep cuts. Yeah, is that like a joke? But then also like, that's actually not true because an old school frame dark ritual is also super expensive. Now it's like a hundred bucks. My beta dark ritual is like eighty. That's, really? Yeah, it's not. I don't remember that. I'm thinking of Tudor. It's common. Oh yeah, it's about I'm thinking of like Tudor. Eight hundred now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. They're both like you know demons. Well, I guess it's a dude hmm. like a sorcerer. That's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also, that card's a hundred dollars now, so that's cool. Library of Alexandria. None of these cards are super exciting. I should just like stop buying any new magic cards and just only buy reserve Bullshit. list until yeah. I'm out of all this stuff and then I can and then, and then you can pick yeah. up new cards for cheaper because they're like no a longer in standard. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the play. That's the strategy. Because like I actually thought about buying a hermit like a few weeks before the Chatterfang thing came out, and I was like, eh, I don't really need it for any decks right now. And I'm just like, some bitch. Signet's all right. Traveler might be better because, I mean, creatures, obviously. It, it works I, it for might Cradle. just take Library, to be quite honest. But the, the unfortunate thing is, like, this is a deck that, like, dumps their hand. Yeah, it's, the, the library is not going gonna, gonna to work. Plus, it's good with Cradle. It's good with the uh, Cradle Bro. If I had any way to splash a red, like, even, like, Sylvan Carry Addeds, mm -hmm. or, I mean, I would probably take Dragonlord Targa, but... I mean, uh, you have a Mox, but that's not really... <sighs> it's my Mox day. I kind of like Elder Gargroth better than Tireless Tracker here. Yeah. Especially because we passed a bunch of You just want to, like... You want, like, solid... Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's what we want. That's what we want. We want solid Ugin the Spirit Dragons. Solid Ugins. Every time I go to the bathroom, I hope I have a solid Ugin, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got me to laugh, so... Who am I to judge? Who are you to judge? Carrion? I kind of like Omnath. We can just play it off of our... Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. added. What about the loosest thing I've ever seen? Oh, Kozilek? 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 Oh, Kozilek, yeah. We got Channel. I forgot we had We channel. got... What's the other thing we had? Don't we have something else? We Doesn't just matter. Have, we, we have big channel. mana, so... Plus, like... The fellas can pretty easily cast those dudes. Mm. Court of Bounty is what we have. Yeah. So as long as we can maintain... Um, I Pilgrim worth it. I think Autumn is probably better. Maybe. I'm like never casting it, though. Yeah, I'll take a Pilgrim. Put Kitchen Finks over here. Although he doesn't let you cast turn two Druids, so actually maybe it's not that great. Okay, that's... Um, oh, finale. Also Emrakul, though. Yeah. I feel like once we, I feel like have, we have enough fatties, though. We, yeah, well, well, yeah. Well, um, Finale can search for tiny things, too, and from your graveyard, which a lot of people forget. I never forget. Hashtag never forget. Also, if you ever spend 12 mana on that card, it just wins you the game. Every time. 12 mana, wow. Yeah. Is that, would you say that's akin to a Crater Hoof Behemoth? What if you search for it with a, with a search for a Crater Hoof Behemoth? Buddy, I've done and, it. Uh, it feels good. And you just use 12 mana to do it. I did that literally a week ago. It was amazing. Attack for 186. They all died. Like Marari's Wake. Probably just Gilded Goose, though, right? Yeah. I think Gilded Goose probably is better goosey. than Pilgrim. Was it every, like, one drop gets so much better because of Cradle? And Circle of Druid. Yeah. Dreams Druid. This came back. I'm just taking the Predator, I guess. Also, is really cool. Oh, he shot me. I'm dead. I sacrificed. Frank shot first. I sacrificed all my lands to do it. I had Titania out with Zernorb. What are you willing to sacrifice? So I sacrificed 10 lands, got 10 tokens, gave them all plus 10, plus 10, haste, trample, and then plus whatever, plus whatever, plus the craters. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Did it feel good inside? Yeah. Also, it wasn't like I was being a jerk because if I didn't kill them all, I was just going to die next turn. So they deserved it. Kill them all. Do it. Kill them. Execute order 66. I'll take a Savannah. That's pretty decent. Did we pull, did we take that night? No, we, we took Solo. Take my money. Frank Solo, ten dollars. You shot first, I guess. I appreciate that. Just I'm glad three, you right? agree. Yeah, no, okay. I'm glad you agree, even though that's me. Wait, I'm Frank Solo. Ooh, I like a Toski. Boston's going to bed. Not Wally though. He get left behind. Wally is gonna. Be, is he over there? Yeah. Wally is oh, gonna get. Yeah, I think it's like a common that fell. 
Chris Woodward too. I don't like you. My friend Moochel doesn't like you either. <laughs> I have the death sentence on 12 systems. Put this over no, I'll here, be careful. You'll be dead. That was a great line. Yeah. Yeah, babe, you know we got Wally. Right there. I think this is the deck. Wally's undecided. He doesn't know what to do. It's Wally's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> babe, did you win your games? Okay. So, 15? Yeah. Dealio. Hmm. I think we can shave a land to play. Is there anything else we want to play, though? I don't want to shave a land with Mox Diamond, though. Yeah, that is always an awkward tension. Oh, we're not playing Finale? Bro. No, because I got Green Sun Zenith. I mean, Green Sun gets Rafellos for three mana. Finale does it for four. I don't know. I think this deck looks sweet. Yeah, all right. Let's just try it, okay? Deck is certain to go oh, 3 I mean, actually, because we didn't get prime, prime time, it's probably going to go 3 0. Also, we do need a crater huff here, but, 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 <laughs> I like that we have four, four, four hits for, uh, for channel and also, uh, like one, two, three, you know, four, five is like six decent hits for, for court of bounty. <sighs> it's I, my birthday. I really hope one day they let my bro prime time out of jail. Cause every time I go through my box, I'm like. Wait, is there like supposed to be a commander update on Monday that might unban no. Primeval Titan? Uh, no. Did you way. say Monday or one day? One day. Oh, I thought you said I hope they let my bro out of the box on Monday, and I was like, No, that'd be sick. But that's is not Monday it. like a? It's never. It's never getting unbanned. I just like I don't think I don't, they're, that's... there's too many broken lands. Like right, like no well, one's getting forest forest with Primeval Titan and Commander. I don't no, think. no one's ever done that in the history. Of yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, at, at, at worst, you're probably getting two worst. fetches, so you can abuse those synergies, but. Um, I just don't think, like, it's not worth the risk, probably, right? I, I would agree. Although there's a big argument that, like, Commander has gotten so much, like, there's been more cards pushed for the Commander, so Commander in yeah, general so has gotten like, faster. Yeah, Primal so Primal Time is actually, like, going down. Yes, because it's like, I get two lands. It's like, that's cool. I'll play my Dockside on turn one and get a bunch of treasures and then kill you all. At the very worst, Michael. At the very worst. That's more, like, the competitive side. But even then, Dockside sees plenty of playing casual, too, because it's freaking bananas. A banana banger, if you will. The card is... I will. Insane. Probably not good enough for cube, right? Because, like, not everyone's going to have... Primeval Titan? No, Primeval Titan's good no, enough for cube, Michael. Dock side. Dock it, side. No, because there's not, not enough, enough like, Right. They may... If they're not playing, like, an artifact deck... Right. They it's, might have, like... It's, it's very side They got, like, one side... One library or something. Like Plus, you have, like, yeah. one opponent rather than three. It's a really, like... Yeah. With three opponents, you're, like... Even if you guys play one artifact every other turn, it's still making three... Right, it's still netting you a mana. Yeah. Plus, it's any color, which is. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop out and then hop back in because this is taking a long time. So maybe I'm just like, maybe I'm resetting the queue here. I mean, yeah, prime time we can get feel of the dead, but like, goal. There's plenty of ways to get. <laughs> there's plenty of ways in green already to get feel of the dead in play. That's not an issue. I talked to my mom today after my recent moves. She told me I should get a dog or new friends. Which do you think is better? I like dogs, but also I can't necessarily 100% take care of them. Um, I think dogs are better unless you neglect them and then they then they get uh, they suffer for that. So in that case, friends. But you also got to take care of friends too. So it'd be really cool if this if this round fired though. That would be sweet. Oh man, if you cascaded into Primeval Titan, got Field of the Dead, and Vesage you the the copier one yeah and you no get, not the one that co you know what I'm talking about the one that copies lands mirror mm, oh thespian stage yeah so you get like something that copies it so you have two two of them and then your prime gets those you get two zombie tokens and another thing off your <laughs> master monitor and they all have haste but the zombies come in to play tapped I think do they I thought the land come in to play tapped not the zombies I'm not 100 percent on that Vesuva yeah Vesuva is one oh I said thespian stage. Uh oh, they don't come into play. No, it's just the land. The Field of the Dead itself comes into play. Oh god. Oh, and geez, when you because they have a haste, you get another trigger from Primeval Titan, so you get two more lands, you get two more zombies. Although those won't be attacking, obviously, but still, it's <laughs> not with that attitude. It's still like four zombies, so it's like it's actually like in that scenario, it's actually just better than Grave Titan. <laughs> it produces the same amount of zombies, but you get lands. Oh god, the match fired finally. It's only took. 
Three thousand years? Ah, after ten thousand years, I'm finally playing. It's Rita Repulsa. Remember Rita Repulsa? Oh, this is a turn three quarter bounty, boy. Y'all have been to court? That's law and order, Michael. Yeah, but there's courts in that. I guess that's true. Also, Ice Cube's in that. Oh, wait, no, it's Ice-T, It's right? hard to find a new people to be with, buddy. You ain't kidding. Oh, theirs is better. Oh, yeah, they're, they're cooler than us. But well, now. Oh, are they on the Mono Green train, too? Two forests would indicate as much. Also, we get to untap the court. We get a free Vornclex. That's pretty dope. Unless we draw something Didn't big and juicy. <sighs> do I just play Elder Gargroth here? I feel like that's probably correct. Because then, like... I think it's Gargroth. Like, I think it has to be Gargroth. Did it? It's like, please don't do it twice. <laughs> it's going to put two counters on, not on tap. It's oh, going to die. They didn't do anything. Like, usually when, when you, like, pass with five mana up, I'm like, okay, they're going to just... Also, they can't be screwed on too. colors because they literally got two forests. Three forests. Are they just on, like, the get to ten plan or something? <laughs> they're just kind of Avengers. Not as good as it could be. Now I feel like we take a turn off the court. Or we could do both, I guess, if we channel... I oh, think we need to draw a card. Yeah, we're drawing yeah. a card. But then we're wasting the haste because... It was actually kind of a tough call. I mean, I could just channel for Vorinclex and then still have mana for something if I draw it. Yeah, let's do that. Total damage is just too good right here. Yeah, you're right. Draw card. Exciting. No. I mean, yeah, you might as well, I guess, right? Yeah, for sure. Get your little thin on, you know? Birthday suit stream. We both have our clothing on. Oh, we just won the game. Get your mind out of the gutter. You're talking about my special birthday suit. What's your birthday suit? It's a Batman costume. <laughs> it's a Batman costume. But it's got cakes on it. It's got cakes on it? Mm -hmm. It's a Batman costume with cakes on it. Yeah, are you confused? I, a standard issue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> standard issue. It's Batman, but there's little birthday cakes all over it. And it's a suit. Yeah. Like with a tie? And you, was it a no. three-piece suit? You, don't have, you have a vest? No. Maybe the vest has the Joker with cakes on it. Did you ever think about that? That's weird. Don't be don't, don't be, be ridiculous. <laughs> you sound like an idiot. I didn't want to say it, but it's true. <laughs> Remember that time they played Mana Crypt into like nothing else? Like if they're color screwed, they can only blame themselves because they literally. Like, it's not color screwed. They just didn't have anything to play. They're, oh, they're this, clearly this mono. Like, this looks a little more dangerous. Uh, yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, he's gonna kill our bro. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. That's wow. Not good. How did you know he was going to do that? Because I'm basically a genius. Oh my goodness, Michael. So smart. You play Druid? No, because Druid can be killed if they have some shenanigans, whereas like... Well, not on that side of group anymore. Oh, grab my wolf. Well, if they blink it, then what? Then you're I like how them. they still put Wolf is black on it, even though it's like, well, I can tell it's by clearly the clearly black. This guy doesn't say ooze is right. green. <laughs> Such so, a weird, like... Come on, man. Who designed the system? The wolf. I like my Toski being uh Go on. Indestructible. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So next time I'll have six mana, we can Vorn and Clex. And then these guys don't get counters anymore. That's kind of cool. Does this cube have anything from the D D set? Yeah. We uh just saw Ebon Death. Uh, Ebon Death Dread Draco Draco Lich Draco Lich 
They always include like a couple cards from the new set usually. Yeah, there's some Modern Horizons 2 cards and some uh, AFR cards in here. Uh, Vorinclex is technically a non-bow with Devoted Druid. Yes, she dies instantly. That being said, it's also good against their Garrick. Oh, because you always double the counters? Oh, does that do anything? Is it any counters? Your yeah, counters yeah. get doubled, okay. their counters get halved. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Oh, that's actually pretty good against Ooze, right? Because then they don't get anything? I said that. I said the oh. Ooze will stop getting counters. Yeah, that's why I said it. Right, Michael. oh. Right is rain. One, two, three, four, five. So if I play a druid, then we have one, two, three, four, five. So I guess we're just gonna. So I don't want to attack here. And the reason this guy has to attack, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah, all right, sure. Get in there. But he don't die. He protect. He actually don't protect very well at I all. I guess this is the thing I can do. Wow. <laughs> Man. Josh is Josh is in rare form. Technology is truly amazing. Guys, you think we can get this May rent paid off tonight? That'd be sweet. <laughs> Starting it awkward. I'm a guys. little behind, but that's okay. You know, I, I talk to my landlord. They understand. They're like, sure, buddy. It's only four months late. It's not a big deal. I get it. You know, that's cool. I'm pretty sure this is the actual company. If we were late like two minutes, they'd be like, all right, get out. <laughs> They're like, I'm sorry. You uh, have overstayed your welcome. <laughs> Look, it didn't go up. Did you see that? It didn't go up. It never do. Well, not anymore, no. If you can cultivate, let me guess. You can get two fours? Oh, you did. Oh, you did. Oh, you got one. Whoa. Okay. okay, so you have one card in hand. That feels decent. Until you get Crater Hoof next turn. Yeah, they're getting pretty wide. Oh, yeah, they can just get hoof and kill us. That's not good. So we can pay three to make four. So we can go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One away from this guy, huh? Hmm. That is awkward. But, I mean, we're... We got almost a million dead next to There's, like, almost... I guess if they don't have hoof... It's our only chance. You're four. I'm not. I'm not actually four months late. It's just kind of a meme because this is like, like the second. The no, it's just a meme because it's still on May. Uh, it's gonna be <laughs> May. Josh, definitely don't think I'm four months late with my rent though. Now, um, okay, I I gotta figure out what to do here. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good these days, but I'm not like cover your rent for four months good these days. Why not? Well, math and time. That's basically it. So one, two, this makes four, right? One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That sucks. I feel like if I just played this, well, no, because I can only tap for this for one still. So I guess that doesn't really matter. What's the optimal donation to car you so you're not evicted? Um, dude, that's that's totally up to you. I will not be evicted. Please don't worry about that. I, I I'm doing I'm doing just fine. Um, I definitely appreciate it though for 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 serious. Yeah, if you guys want to support the content, definitely do so because you you like me or you like the channel. But don't 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 be concerned with me being evicted. I'm 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 doing okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for a crater hoof. Are you? Do you want to take bets on whether they have it or not? What do you? What are the odds you give me? Here we go. You ready? Oh, you can't do it afterwards. Well, I already know it's hundred percent. Yeah, we both know. You ready? Oh, oh, interesting. That's also not good for us. Nah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, they just exile all our yep, not gonna. Four and it's the, not really worth it. The druid. And, actually, they can do the toski if they want. Is there into that? You into that? Frank, hey, do you still play poker? It's a weird question considering it was me who played poker. I, I've I've actually never. I think we uh, play poker Frank... with any consistency. Shut up and take my money. Oh my god, you're doing okay, but you also owe me some drafts or something. We'll figure... Josh, that is awesome. I love you, buddy. You are friggin' amazing, dude. Um, yeah, let's yeah, send me an email or a message and we'll figure out. You know, I'm gonna keep it. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. 
We could do worse. Yeah, I guess seven fours would be worse. Oh, for sure, man. <laughs> oh, for sure. Josh, dude, thank you so much, man. I also appreciate your genuine concern of me being evicted. Oh, that was good. That was what I was hoping for. I think Frey played poker one time like six years ago. Okay, buddy, me. I've played poker more than once. Well, I mean, last time I can remember you playing. I like, play it every week. You don't. You think that? Be oh, my God, seriously? You know what we're getting? No idea. Really? What a surprise. You sound like an idiot if you don't know. And before we draw nothing but more forest. <laughs> turn seven boring clicks. No way, buddy. Turn. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, <sighs> cool. Every game. Good thing you have it every game. It's pretty good. I guess that's fine. Next anyway, time. I assume you're referring to me. Um, I really just don't. Josh got an eye. Hold on. We got an eye coming through. What's that mean? He got an eye in the chat. But because he's a little inebriated, he, he hit enter before he could finish oh, the sentence. Yeah. I do that sometimes. I haven't played this played at all. See, that's not even a sentence. No. Uh, you can have whatever you like. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You can have the mana crypt. I don't even care, dude. I haven't played this set at all. Uh, do you mean AFR? Because this is Vintage Cube, not a set, my friend. Anyway, I've kind of like got a job that's good enough now to where I really don't need to play poker to support myself, which I'll try again tomorrow. Sadly enough, I kind of <laughs> did before. Um, and the old group I used to play with it kind of broke up because they're all kind of dummies and they still went to casinos once it was kind of like legal to do so. And I just don't have a great group and I don't really enjoy playing with randoms and COVID. Yeah. So, you know, Josh, yeah. Um, I bet I can. Yeah, I was I was actually thinking of finding more time tomorrow and getting on again. So, hot up down chicken wings. Occasionally, I play some cash games with a different group, but mm, occasionally I play a cash game with my little chicken wings setting. Yeah, that. You know, I don't think the squirrels are going to do it. Weird choice to make a construct there. Hold on. Holding on. Oh, we skipped it for sure, boy. Super did. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay here. Well, you also can't. That was the that was the joke. Oh. Word. Look at this weird construct. Never seen that art. I kinda like it though. He a fat boy. But he's got the skinny legs. It's kind of funny. You know what? This this Ulamog is like, hey, why don't you just concede? And I'm like, oh, okay, good idea. That was a fun round one. Their whole kill our mana guy and then cast Ulamog a turn two later. It's pretty solid strat. Pretty good. No super fritz or your squirrel guy? You like the squirrel decks? I have not been able to do better than two one in this cube so far. This is like my seventh draft. It's either it's like I think last time we went two one one two two one and then the next day we went two one one two two one so so fingers crossed we get a get another get another two one coming I guess I mean so the thing stagger I don't know if you staggerly if you want to but well, there actually are definitely ways to still play online which I have from, mm -hmm. like um the one I do is uh geez I haven't played song can't remember the site <laughs> uh. <sighs> ignition uh i play on ignition and it's bitcoin so you have to have like cash app to translate into real cash but that's technically legal so you can definitely play on lower limits in tournaments and stuff remnant from the ashes no i actually have not played that also colorado has a really weird rule about gambling so you actually really can't play like no, they got that they got rid of that oh yeah forgot about that but oh, there's also yeah. covid so i'm not remnant I mean, from the ashes 
89, 4.1. Double and all that. It's pretty good. Interesting. Oh, I think that the game had a bunch of controversy. Was the publisher, and actually, Perfect World offered me a job, like fuck, five, six years ago, as a community manager. I turned it down because they had a lot of those titty anime games, and I'm actually just like, the funny thing is, kind of game? awkward to like. Uh, those are just awkward. They're just awkward, like in general. So like, I didn't really want to work for a company that like had that as one of their primary revenue streams that's weird because that game the main character i think is a female that's kind of like more like muscular and there's a whole thing about it people are like weird about it on the internet if this is the same game i'm thinking of oh wow men were weird about a woman who didn't conform to uh oh, nope different game to typical yeah as it turns out wow that's shocker. wild man i would have never thought that men are super understanding on the internet so yeah they're super definitely great to interact with every day Every day I have to interact, whenever I have to re- interact with random men on either the internet or Facebook or whatever, I'm like, yes. That's what I was so worried channel. about, about that Discord, channel. like the I hate your deck. But like, mm, that's actually I realized that like yeah. people that are willing to pay for a Discord are not those kind of people. Correct. Which is why, I'm going to be honest with you, which is why paywalls can be very, very good. Yeah. Like, that's why I was a fan of SCG having, oh, for, are you serious? Fuck, come on, dude. <sighs> cool. Well. That sucks. That's why I was a fan of SCG content having uh, subscriber only chat, wizards having subscriber only chat. Like the thing is, once you're willing to pay for for the ability to speak, uh, y- you actually put a lot more weight on your words. <laughs> right, like because people, also they can ban you. Right, stuff, exactly. Right? You're not going to get banned if you spent like five dollars to chat, and if you do, then you're actually just the moron. So yeah. like, but every game I've played on the Discord has been nothing but super sweet. We always talk about what kind of decks we're playing. Are combos cool? Are they not? Is like what speed of game, what power level? Like, and everyone's like fun and interactive. Also, like people are still trying to win, so it's like a more focused game, which is what I like. So I'm gonna block because it's a one-two. I was on the receiving end of a Turgrid. That was pretty brutal. Turns out Turgrid would make all your opponents discard their hand. Pretty good. That's not a land. Cool city. Crack your fetch land and go get a b- hollowed fountain or a breeding pool. I'm going to get a breeding pool out of my deck. Oh, an island. Or planes, rather. It's much more boring. Resto, blink my three-minute inspector. I'm not predicting anything they're doing right now, and that's why I'm losing. <sighs> Have you considered opening a locals community? It started by a conservative... What is the locals community? What is that? Is that a thing? Michael grabs his drink so delicately because it's like on the other side of the microphone stand. Like the mic, the mic stands like right here and his drink is just like, I'm going to go, I want to go under and get it really carefully. Is so it like for me to hit it and like spill and knock things over. No, obviously I wouldn't prefer that stupid. Okay. Then I don't understand. Locals.com. That just sounds like a dating site. Buddy, that's that's a sex ring. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, that's for intercourse. I'm in constant stream of nonsense and you haven't banned me yet. Ot oit. Oit. Oi oi oi. God damn. <laughs> Swasted. Oh Josh. You're the best Come on, dude. Super Fritz. You're very wholesome. What does Super Fritz say? He's like, I'm a constant stream of nonsense, but I'm like no, 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 you're not. Definitely not. Actually, Super Fritz, the reason I befriended you is because you were just so clever. I was like, this guy's really funny. And he's like, he's genuinely a good dude. What kind of funny? Like, is he like a clown? Yeah, dude? he's like a comedian to me. <laughs> yeah, I think he's very comical, you know. I'm in a court of bounty here. Would you like that, Michael? For getting to swing with an unblockable guy on, on a feature match? Oof. I mean... That's the kind of place where you like make those nervous mistakes, though. Like when you're on camera. Yes, not everyone uh, is is prepared to like, you know, be in a feature match. Also, everyone who gets like super mad about people making mistakes on camera, like play mistakes, is usually people who have never played on camera and have no idea. It's like also there's a ton of people crowded around you watching. Like it's a very different experience. Michael's pretty used to being on camera because when he was a kid, 
He used to get interviewed by the news stations a lot because his dad was a criminal. I was like, this is going to be dark wherever it's going. So they were like, how does how does it feel to be uh, the son of this notorious criminal? The son of the Sam. Oh, man, look at that. You're going to get my goose. You got it. Swords of the Plowshares on my goose. Look at that. They're going to come Would in. Would you say you cooked your goose? <laughs> I don't think so. It's <laughs> kind of weird. Well, look what you did. We're no longer the monarch. Yeah. How will we even rule the kingdom? You know? And we don't have lands in hand, so this is actually, actually pretty not bad, working yeah. out very well. I mean, you can get it back if you don't want to tap your dork. You can get it back? I'm pretty sure they're going to play something that's going to stop me from nah. getting it back, whether it's removal, <laughs> that's crazy. a flash creature, or an Urza. See what I mean? Oh, that's, like, two, that's, even, that's two creatures. It's true. It's worse. Here's a third one. Oh. <laughs> All right. What a fucking scumbag. Cool, dude. Yeah. Urza is definitely one of those cards like when things for some reason just like didn't happen when you tapped them, even though it makes no sense. <laughs> the interaction with Winnow or Urza is super like, this shouldn't be a thing, but since it's a really old card with a yeah. weird rule. Super brutal. Had a million Michael B's and I spent them all. Also, even before Urza and all that shenanigans, no one's ever cast Winora and been like, this is going to be a fun game. <laughs> it's, it's never true. happened. Man, this deck seems sweet. All of a, and now all of a sudden I'm like... People just tend to okay, like... Okay, I guess we'll Every time we've it. played, we're like, we our thing always dies before we get a chance Correct. to Correct. They always have the answer they need right. and we never draw lands or... Like last game, I had no lands to put into play with Court. They had swords to kill a bird and get in there with their 1-2 because we just didn't play any of the creatures by that point. Even though we have like 9 1 and 2 drops, it's like, okay. You must have left them in the sideboard. Yeah, I did. I forgot them. Now look, watch. We have to draw one forest here in order to actually... I guess we have to draw a big fat idiot too, but you know what? I'm sure we won't draw either. We're going to draw... Does anyone remember Kaibode's wildfire deck? That's pretty old, but yeah. That's way back in the day. <laughs> I didn't feel bad at the time, but Chandelar isn't quite modern. No, you don't think so? Let's do a Chandelar stream. You have fun with that. I'm looking up pixel adventure puzzle games. That sounds much more fun than that. that. That 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 that's more fun than that. Fourth, that is pretty old school. You got me beat, that's for sure. Good. Someone should have you beat. Well, you do. Beat, bet, beat, bet. I think I'm just going slow and carry at it here. You started in like beta revised, right? No, I started in revised and fallen empires were some of the first sets that I ever ever bought. I started in 08, 09, which was like shh, Morning Tide block or whatever that block was called. Also, often I'm like, oh, I started pretty late. But then I like realized now in Magic Community, like I started in like two sets ago and I was like, oh, wow. This one's much younger. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And man, that was a poor choice. Yu-Gi-Oh! Man! Should have started with Magic. Let's be honest. I probably would have sold all the good stuff again anyway. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Dummy. I'd probably be in the same situation. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have a million mana next turn. But they're going to Wrath of God, so. They're going to go Mox, Wrath of God. Then again, I say that, and then I look at my commander decks, and I'm like, yeah, this is literally like a $4,000 deck. Yeah, you're doing so. fine. I still got to use that web dad to see what my collection's worth. I'm just the web curious. dad? The web dad. I still got to use web dad. I'm going to use that web dad. Because I also have a bunch of staples that I, like, Bullmunk. never use for a deck, and I still have, and they're, like, actually really expensive stuff. Three. 
This hermit is deranged, Michael. Yeah, Shivan Dragon was more expensive than a lot of things back then. Was it more expensive than your daddy that you went diamond with? No, not that daddy. We had, we had the diamonds, you see. We had the diamonds, you see. <laughs> it helped me afford all my Shivan Dragons. Got Wrath of God for damn. There's also a million other Wrath of Gods in this set, right? So, Or not the set, but the cube. I'm going to block here because... Well, if you take this guy out, so then we'll just double block. Sounds good. If you take my life, then I'll take yours too, you know? Dude, COVID has done very weird things to Magic. You are correct. Yeah, COVID has really spiked a lot of cards. Like yeah, like also my match. comic collection has had a similar trajectory. Wrath of God. Yeah, a lot of collectibles. Cool. Hey, whoever said it wasn't in here just lied. He just cast it. So, thanks. I'm kidding, obviously, but it He's is not. Here. Oh, I like that. Wow, that's really sweet. Just become the monarch with no pressure on board. Cool. Yeah, you probably get at least two cards, right? Which is pretty sick. Doubt it. Really? Yeah, they'll just kind of flash in a haste creature here or some bullshit and attack me. On their upkeep? That is, they're gonna have, it's they'll gonna just disenchant Haste and color. flash? Yeah. In blue-white. That's going to be really in impressive. In blue-white. At oh. this time of year. <laughs> they're just dropping a 2-1 to be a 2-1. Oh, no, I guess they do get to play something after. So it's going to be time. <laughs> See? There you go. <laughs> this, you is what, what? this is what's known as haste. <laughs> You and found a way. And then they double it. Yep. Yeah, well, they had to have those two cards, so why wouldn't they, right? One of my friends sold his dad's complete collection of legends, many duels, many alpha cards for 600 bucks after he passed. I hope that wasn't recently or he got super ripped off. Yeah, I would actually... Uh, like, it, for 600 bucks, if you had a bunch of... Like, that had to be way long ago. Oh, yeah, they got another turn, too. That's cool. Four years ago? Oh, wow, you're... you're yeah, he got ripped off. There's <laughs> Duels were not that cheap four years ago. So that is super awkward and not cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. this is fucking. You just have it every game. So, cool. Yeah, and like meanwhile, we have like five cards we can put into play with either channel or court, and we just don't draw them any game. So, meanwhile, our opponent gets Urza, uh, and Winter Orb every single game, and also, uh, Seagate Stormcaller into Time Walk the exact turn you needed. So I guess, wasn't meant to be. Because I'm pretty sure any blue duel like. Even four years ago, it was probably like five to six hundred bucks, right? Alone. Like not any, no. I mean, even now, they're not all five to six hundred bucks. The blue ones? Yeah, Tundras are like three hundred. Hmm. Still, it should have been worth more than six hundred if there was a bunch of duels. Oh, 100%. Oh. I mean, like, Moat was three hundred bucks by she itself. had no idea what I had. Need that one. What did I suppose? Oh, she had an entire set? Oh. Wow, that's not cool. <laughs> All right, so this is the one-two draft, I guess. Buddy, there's still a chance to go three. Is Wally still there? No, Wally's gone. It's like this is, hey, look, now we have two of these guys, but none of the other things. Like, it's really frustrating. Classic. I mean, I'll still keep it because channel or quarter are both good, and we have Mox Diamond, so... Yeah, it's super weird to me to like sell a thing you don't know about and someone offers you 600 bucks and you're like, that seems like a lot for a thing I don't know about for you not to be like, maybe I should think about this. Mediocre Magic Manly. Have a good night, buddy. But maybe like, maybe they just need the money real bad at the time. You know, you never know. But uh, People also have to know to research things. Yeah. Like there's certain things I might sell. Like what if I have a rare plate? And I don't know anything about it. So I'm just like, yeah, it's just a plate. I'll sell it. And then someone's like, wow, this is actually an antique from the Ming Dynasty. I'm like, I wouldn't know that. Like, you have to yes. know enough to know to research a thing. Like, how many cards? If you have 30 sets of trading cards, how many of those are worth researching to find values? Like, probably one. You know, like, tons of baseball cards are worthless. Tons of football cards are worthless. Yeah, that's true. Like, I mean, you know, if you don't know anything about magic cards, you, you probably don't assume they're worth a ton. Yeah, maybe they just like literally put it in like a garage sale or something. Or I don't know. But a season of the witch, our opponent said, Wish Mike a wonderful birthday. <laughs> so Michael, happy birthday. My only issue with that take is like I can understand like a weird random plate, but like I don't know the situation. But if the magic cards were like all together, like four O's, four O's, four O's, I might be like, well, he clearly organized this, so maybe I should look into it. But that could of course not be the case. It could just be like a pile of cards. So 
Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> oh, man, that's fantastic. He did play Magic a little bit, but he's been out of it for so long he didn't realize that they were still worth money. Yeah, Magic's the thing where, like, if you don't keep up with it, like, you're just going to underestimate the values. Like, I have here, let me look up, hold on, Volcanic Island. Right, but Island. if you used to play, though, right? That's not true. Hold on, look, Volcanic Island. Like, let's look up Volcanic Island eBay. I remember selling your your eBay item sold for Volcanic Island dual lands. $380 for all four of them. Oof. This was back in March 18th of 2013. That was a while ago. Okay, but he said it was four years ago, five years ago, right? So what, so that's 2016? That, yeah, it's not that far. It's three years after this. Yeah. Right? So like, I mean, I don't know. And plus, like, if you didn't check prices for like five years before that, okay, they got a gristle brand. We're doing good. Yeah, this is uh, pretty sure we're going to win. Yep, we're doing very well this draft. Was that when you like sold out to like buy a car or something? Yes. No. Yeah. Um, no, I think I had a, I don't know. I don't know. That was part of when you you sold like a big legacy collection, right? That's when you did that. So I had in the title of that auction, see other auctions. So I'm going to do a search for that in my in my old email. Man, dude, this is probably going to be Man, you keep emails so dude. much longer than I do. Well, it's just because I don't, I don't delete them, you know? Oh, you're just going to find all the things that are oh, like, oh, yeah, now. these were all listed on eBay. This is wild. Four bayous. Uh, that's just listed. Okay. It's like, uh, please tell me you didn't sell them no. for cents because Those I'm no just, expert, but they're definitely worth more than um, that. Um, I didn't see anything really. It's, I mean, like they had, we saw literally Putrid M Corpse Dance and the friggin', I guess Relic of Progenitus is good. Take Toski out. I don't know if Toski is good enough. Um, okay, let me... Oh, here's four from the Vault Relic Mox Diamonds, 109. Oh. <laughs> four Mox Diamonds from, from the Vault Relics, $109. Uh, those ones are actually, those are those guys are actually worth more. I than, know. Even though they look terrible. Oh, I know. Those are like oh, five Legends Caracas. Actually, 100 bucks is pretty good for that. No, that's fine. I, think, I think they're like 60 It's now. not legal in Commander, dummy. Of course it's cheap. <laughs> oh, four Grim Monolith. What do you think these sold for, Michael? Four Grim well, Monoliths. Hold on. So that's like a four. In it's like a three hundred dollar card right now, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's about three hundred each, right? Okay, uh, I'm gonna sell you sold it for. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and say six hundred total. Seventy six for all four. Oh, oh. So, <laughs> You know what? Actually, that's no because it's like less okay. than twenty bucks each. No, that's totally fine actually because it's nineteen dollars each. I literally used to have an old Una deck that had an infinite combo with Grim Monolith that I sold both Power Artifact and Grim Monolith for like a hundred bucks total. <laughs> I wish I had. It still just hurts so bad to see. Because funny, the other day I actually I didn't need a power artifact, but I saw it listed in high end. I was like, I'm gonna keep going. And I was like, power artifact. I think I bought that for fifty bucks. And I looked at it now, and I'm like, one guy's cradle sold for eighty bucks. Oh, oh Eureka Italian Legends times four, four Italian Legends Eureka. So those are like those are like four hundred five hundred pop right now, right? I, the Italians aren't. The Italians are like two to three, I think. Okay. 170 for four. Hmm. Look, and I sold them to someone in Italy. <laughs> well, at least that, you know, the flavor's they're going worth home. it then. They're going home. <laughs> the boys are going home. Oh, look, he's going to take our wall roots and we're dead. That's cool. That's fun. That's going to be a good time. Yeah, this is my worst MTG sale was trading great. three Mox Diamonds for the current equivalent of twenty five dollars. Well, see, the thing about Mox Diamonds is they're really Oof. only worth anything now because of Commander, right? Because they're not really legal in the sets where they matter. What's the What's the Judge promo doubling season go for? I have no idea. I bet it's more than whatever you sold it for, though, for sure. Well, I sold it for $33. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's probably like 600 bucks or something outrageous. Let's look it up. Dude, the stuff I had is insane. Like, I, this is all like four of like literally everything. Doubling season. But that's like everyone's experience that ever sells part of their collection, right? Right. But my point is I had everything. Like, that's what I'm more shocked yeah. with right now where I'm like, wow, this is a lot of shit. Judge promo. Is it really only $79? That seems really good. It's probably because it's been reprinted a bunch of times recently, so it might have dropped. But there's definitely a point where the Judge Promo was definitely over 100 bucks. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I sold out because I had some tough times in a shitty job and a car ticket, and it was like four Jason the Mind Sculptors. Uh, this is way before any reprints and stuff. 
for it was like everything in standard. Like I basically had four of all standard cards. And I also had four Force of Wills, and there was a Grim Monolith and a Power Artifact in there. Four Bayous, Michael. What do you want to sell these? What do you say these four Bayous are at? Well, it's got to be as painful as possible. So I'm going to say $200. $300 for four Bayous. Still terrible. 75 but... each. What about four Badlands? Well, those are one of the less expensive lands. And I'm going to slap you first, but... In the elbow. Yeah, slap me in the elbow. They're Badlands. So Badlands are worth like roughly $200 or so, right? Wait, what version of Badlands? Revised. It's all revised. So it's got to be awful, right? I'm going to say like 50 bucks. Total? You're right. For 70, four Badlands? $75. Oh. oh, my God. No, dude. 202 Okay. 50 bucks each. That's not that crazy considering what they're worth now. Really? What's the Badlands worth now for Rise? Like 300 Have they shot up? I thought they were one of the cheaper ones. That is one of the cheaper ones. Not like... Uh, revised. Oh, maybe they've gone up. Badlands is no longer a cheap one apparently. Lowest on TCG is... What? Oh, you're looking for the ones that actually. Why are you? Like scoring? moderately played 322, so 300. Okay. But you can definitely get them for like what 200. I think we're just dead. Like this, this has not been a uh, productive draft. Let's say it's not been a good time. No, and I thought this deck was sweet. Scrubland is uh, the cheapest. I'm pretty sure Plateau, Plateau is 100 percent the cheapest. Yeah, it's the worst color combination, unfortunately. Despite me literally building a red white deck right now, but. So we're going to play this. They're going to attack us. They're going to become the Monarch. We're not going to have any other lands to put into play. So, yeah. I guess you could say things are going pretty well. Court of Bounty kind of sucks. I thought this... At first, I thought this search your library for a land. No. Then you're keeping, well, the other ones are really good without that. The card's still really good. What edition are you looking at? My Badlands are at 500 on Echo MTG. I'm looking at TCG Player, and we're looking at Revised. I mean, Echo MTG isn't like... I don't even know what this is, to be quite honest. But, like, yeah. I mean, look, look at the TCG Player right now. Like, lightly played, the lowest lightly played is 384, which is completely fine. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, but we... So the prices we always base off are the, like... I mean, well, TCG player low is the standard. Yeah, like if like, you go in any selling group, TCG low usually minus X percent, like ten percent or something. Yeah, sick deals for me is the standard because you're if you're on eBay or if you're on TCG player, you're going to pay ten percent in fees. So outside of those formats, if you take TCG player low and subtract ten percent, you're probably at the card's right. close close value, which is like three fifty for 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 Badlands. I mean, that's still Badlands pretty good. definitely went up. Oh, is this City of Traders? Oh, I think I saw City of Traders in Aren't here. those like insanely expensive? Who right knows, now? man? City of Traders times four. Ooh, what could these go for? I mean, to be fair, I sold all these cards back in like 2013 and I bought my Prius with it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Cards are pretty sweet. Like, I, it's funny because my, my Prius title, I purchased it in April of 2013. All these auctions ended in March 18th of 2013. So, like, you can tell like I got these payments and then I just went and bought a Prius with cash. And I still drive it to this day eight years later, so... Yeah, but like magic cards are cooler, you know. City of Traders. What did what did these four go for, Michael? The answer, one hundred dollars. Oh. So twenty five each. Yeah, twenty five for City of Traders, dude. Aren't they like over two hundred dollars these days? A piece? Yeah, Triumph of the Horde is a weird card to be over fifteen, especially as an uncommon. That has been printed in in several sets. It's because of Commander. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Michael? I'm gonna concede. Like we're at eleven, we take eight next turn, so. This has been a fun 03. This is our first 03. I'm going to let it go because we're having some decent... Uh, because we're, we're talking about me selling cards for significantly less than they were ever worth. Not ever, I guess. In the chat. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to uh, follow the channel. Do the things.
Never sell any magic cards. Keep them forever until you die. Yeah, take it. Be like a fucking pharaoh and unless you can buy a house with them. Put them in your tomb when you die, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.